case manager did not give us enough hours. KC, what do I do? Y'all know how many times a day I hear that? Really, though. Listen, if that's your question, stick around to the end, man. I definitely got the answer for you, all right? So, look, ha you know, Happy New Year's Eve. I should say, I can't say Happy New Year's just yet, but Happy New Year's Eve. My name is Kion Church. I'm the big-hearted caregiver. That's what they call me, you know what I mean? Who am I? I'm the big-hearted caregiver. I know how to get all the hours. Listen, all you got to do is follow me to the end, and I got you. You know what I mean? So, look, who do I help? I help financially challenged family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid Long-Term Health Care Program. And guess what? If you qualify for a paid aid and your aid's not getting enough hours, you're probably not getting enough help, you know? And if you're a family caregiver and you're working your Watusi off, you feel me, and you're working around the clock, you're not making no dough. So you're like, man, I, I done quit my job, moved back home, and, and this thing not working. What do I do? This is the most common question I come to like every day. Like, this is a big, big problem because a lot of people have put their personal lives to the side to be able to take care of their loved ones. And if they only giving you two hours a day while you, you know, you doing 12, things ain't going to add up. You know what I mean? Because it's it just not going to work out, you know? So look, while we here today, if you got any questions, I'm going to give you the number early. 302-689-3240. Look, text me while we on here about your specific situation, and I'll tell you how to do it. You know, if you're watching this on any other uh, platform, like, share, subscribe. Do what you got to do, because this is a big question, you know what I mean? And, and your people that's doing this, I know they need to know this, you know? And I'm going to tell you something else. If you're getting a bunch of hours and you still need a bunch of hours, I'm going to tell you what to do. All right? So, look, let's get into it. Common question, you know, how do I get more hours? How do I get more hours? Well, the first thing that you should have did is you should have came with reliable aid, you know, because this is what we do. I don't know. See, I don't know how these companies are doing it. And then right now it's a pandemic, so they really don't care. They're not even coming out. You know, they don't even have a representative to come to your house. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that's giving them hearts and them likes up. You know what I mean? So look, this is the situation. If you if you go with the wrong company, they're not going to have a, a, a case manager. They're not going to have a, a, a good uh, staff uh, uh, to bring you on and do a, a good, healthy health assessment. You know, that's the first thing. You need a good company. First of all, if you was with me, I got a beautiful director that I send to your house and I'd say, look, Go over there, ex, uh, uh, you know, assess, that's the word I'm looking for, because wording is everything. I say, go over there, assess this client's needs, and find out, figure out what it is that they're doing and they need to do to, to uh, get the client in the best shape as possible. So after that, you know, we personally meet either I, myself, or the director, we'll meet with your case manager, and we'll explain to them, look, this is a bigger situation than you think. You know, see, from the outside, the case managers, sometimes they be thinking like, hey, man, you got it under control. So maybe they don't, they think you don't need any more hours. So they just don't, uh, you know, they don't do any more for you because you haven't told them specifically your needs and all the services that you're performing for your loved one. You know, like the first, the very first thing I do, I say to people, I say, listen, when you call your case manager you know, lay it all on the line. Let them know everything. Look, this morning, I'm going to just tell you, just, and this is my own rap. This morning, I had to get my pop up. He had to go to dialysis early. It's New Year's Eve, so they like, look, we want him here now. That means, you know, he got to get his teeth brushed. He got to get his clothes on. He got to get dressed. He got to, you know, he got to do everything really fast. So that's like, that like, uh, you know, that, that, that up the ante now. You know what I mean? So now I got to get up a little earlier. I got to do things a little earlier. Prepare the meals. You know, I, I might got to, uh, you know, get his jacket out. I might get, get him in the car. I got to take him on over there. I got to sit around for three hours sometimes. You know, I got to go pick him up. Whatever it is you got to do, you got to let the people know. You got to let the case manager know because if the case manager doesn't know how much time you're putting in, they don't know how to adjust the schedule. All right? So, number one thing, let them know everything. Tell them everything. You in there working hard. You want to get paid. Not only that. We want to get you paid because that's the nature of the beast. You know, 
if you're working for 12 hours at home for free and you can't even get outside to get a job, in a minute, your back and your stomach going to be slow dragging. <laughs> now, look, man, slow dragging is cool, but it's got it's only cool between, you know, two people. It's not cool between one person between your back and your stomach. You know what I'm saying? Because if your back and your stomach is slow dragging, that means you ain't eating. You know what I mean? And that's a bad thing. So after that, what I advise people, trash man outside. I, after that, what I advise people is, see, we got like a special system. Every day, our caregivers, they like, they check off notes. They actually, when the director, I'm going to back it all the way up. Because when the director comes in, she assesses the situation and she forms what we call a care plan. Now, the care plan you know, you know how to take care of your mom the best. You know what I mean? So don't think we're going to come in here and tell you what to do. But what the care plan is for is in case you need some vacation time or we had, we need to stick somebody else in there or we need to share with the case manager how much work you really doing over there. You know, so we check off the things that we do on a daily with the, uh, with the clients. And then we also have some, uh, some daily notes. Now, I advise all of my clients and caregivers, you know, because we big on clients with family caregivers, you know, I advise all of them every day, fill out them notes. You know, if your client had a bad day, you know, write it down. If your client had an awesome day, write it down. Hey, man, we had to catch two buses on over here because logistics didn't pick us the, you know, what up. And uh, I had to do this and I had to do that. And then, you know, we had to catch a cab over there to get something to eat. And then we had to, you know... Uh, thumb it on the way back home. I don't know what it is that you got to do daily. And I'm going to tell you the truth. The case managers don't either unless you say something. So, one, you're going to have to talk. You got to speak up. You know what I mean? Two, you got to follow the care plan. You know, the care plan is going to suggest everything. Number three, you got to be taking your notes because if you don't, if you don't provide proper documentation, nobody's even going to know or even think that you're serious about needing more hours. So getting to the bottom is really, you know, getting to the bottom of these hours is really an easy thing, man. Now, if you with me, I'm going to help you get to the bag because I already know, like, you know, this is a full-time job. You know what I mean? I'm going to leave out in a couple minutes, go get pop right now. He's going to say, yo, man, you know, I'm hungry. Take me get something to eat. You know, I might got to pick his clothes up from the cleaners. You know what I mean? I just got the car washed. You're like, it's his car. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of stuff you got to do during the day. You know what I mean? If you're here with me now and you you putting other people's needs over your own, man, put it in the comments, man. Let me know how you do it. You know, you might got a, a, a little situation, a little one-two, as we call it, you know what I mean, that you're doing with your peoples, you know what I mean, to, to better help them with themselves. Let me know. You know, put it right down in the comments, you know. Also... Don't be afraid to like and share these posts, you know what I mean? This is a lot of good information that I'm disseminating to the public right now, you know what I mean? How you feel about them big words, too, you know what I mean? KC do all that thing, man. Disseminate, you know what I mean? We, we you know, we doing a lot of good stuff over here, man. Now, listen, I need y'all to be safe out there, you know what I mean? It's Omicron, Omicron, I don't know. This virus thing is getting hectic, man. And, like, if you from where I'm from, like, everybody's sick, you know what I mean? So, you know... Me and Pop, we masked up to the T. Like, you know, every time we leave the house, I'm going to need you to make sure that's important in y'all life. You know what I mean? Stay masked up. And if you got any problems, let me know. Because, uh, you know, reliable disinfect will be on the scene. We'll come over there and hose it down for you. My baby Tobe from the north side. What's going on, Toby? How you doing, baby? <laughs> Look, man, don't be afraid to like and share this post because it's people all over that need this, you know? I had, a, I had a young lady call me from California the other day. She said, look, man, I seen your videos on YouTube. She said, uh, I know I'm not in Delaware and you probably can't help me, but, you know, what do I do? And I told her the same thing, you know, tell your case manager everything. You know, don't leave anything to chance. Let them know everything from step one and then take some good notes. Let them know. Documentation, how the, how the saying go? documentation beat everything. I don't know how to say it. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a real cool dude, but I, I, I got a bad memory. So documentation is your best thing. You need to know where you came from in order to get to where you're going. You know what I mean? Now, if you don't got nothing written down, case manager going to be like, I don't, I don't see you doing anything, you know? So the proof is in the pudding. You need the evidence in your hand. It's easy to get more hours. 
And then if you really having a problem, get with a better company, you know, because if you if you rocking with KC, I'm going to go the extra mile for you. You ain't even got to do no talking. I got people that call me every day. They say, look, KC, can you please call my case manager? That's all I do. I talk to case managers for other people who are not even on our service, who want to become uh, reliable aid, you know, want to want to get into the reliable aid family more than I talk to the case managers that's in the reliable aid family. And you know why? Because we already got everything else straightened out with our people. That's the first thing. It's crazy. Like just yesterday, a guy coming out of the hospital just got uh, approved for long-term health care. Actually starting tomorrow on the 1st. He said, yo, how do we bump these hours up, man? Because they talking about, you know, 20 some hours and I'm coming fresh from the hospital. Now, you know, how my wife going to stay home and not make that money that she used to making if she's staying home with me for 20 hours? It's not going to work. You know what I mean? You can't leave a full time job to take a full time job and make part time money. It ain't going to work. You know what I'm saying? So, look, do what you got to do. Keep your notes tight, your game right, and if you got extra problems, call KC because I know what to say. You know what I mean? Listen, I'm telling you, I'm going to tell you for the last time this year, ain't no fun unless my friends can get some. You feel me? Now, this ain't no game over here because we really working. You know what I mean? And I've been, I didn't utilize my whole morning already. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I still got a, a whole day to go. It's only like noon. You know what I mean? So, listen, if you like me, you need a little extra help. That's all it is. Yo, shout out to my peoples. Listen, subscribe to this. You got a cousin that's on the couch every day. He don't even go to work because he, he stuck taking care of his mom. Write his name in the comments. He need to know. Come to Reliable Aid. KC going to put that comma check in your bank account. You feel me? It's crazy, man, but it's going down. So look, be cool out here. Tonight, it'll be New Year's. You know what I'm saying? My boy Leafs for Life, y'all got to check him out. He on, he on Market Street, you know what I mean? He got all that good herbal stuff over there for y'all. You know what I mean? Sometimes I, I sneak over there and get me some uh, some good stuff to clean it. I need to come over. I got a little congestion, man. What do you suggest? You know what I'm saying? So uh, it is what it is, man. I just want to see the best for everybody. You know, it's New Year's Eve tonight, man. Be safe. You know, if your peoples want to do a little something extra, tell them, say, look here, man. It's rough out there right now. You know, the virus out there, we'd rather be in here. You know, I don't know what you're going to do, man. Get you something good to eat, lock in, and, and watch the ball drop, man. But number one thing is be safe. Take care of your peoples. Take it, take them notes. You know, I don't know what you got to do today. You know what I mean? But I got a big plan. I got to do, you know, a big day, you know, with Pop. So you got to take care of yourself and write them notes down, man. Let everybody know. Be fully transparent. That's what I try to tell them. Be fully transparent. Let them know. Yo, I, I get up 530 in the morning. I got to... uh Run it, run my, run my sibling over here. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. You gotta let them know. And if you one of them people, oh, I just you know we you know because I run into these people and I, I'm like, yo, why are you so shady with yourself? You know what I mean? You in the program, you know it's it's like you don't even want them to give you the help. And and I don't know. I may not be talking to you, but I'm talking to you, and you know who I'm talking to because you're the person that that I already told your case manager. Oh, you know, I'm going to be all right. And, oh, it's not that bad. But what you don't realize is you got a family member who's called out. And now all they do is take care of you and they broke. And listen, your life is going to get a little more hectic if the person taking care of you is broke. Because, you know, you ain't going out and working. You know what I mean? The money got to come in from somewhere. Don't be mad that, you know, they making money with you. Because they probably spending it on you. Every dime I get, you know, Pop tell me, look, man, we're going to cheese steak tonight. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, man. If you need me, I love to help you, man. It's New Year's Eve, man. So look, be safe out there. Be safe out there. Do your thing, man. You know, share this thing for me. I need this thing to go around because 2022, we doing it big at Reliable Aid. You know, we trying to get everybody hours up. You know what I mean? Listen, shh, we ain't struggling no more. You know, 2021 is going to be over. We try to move forward with bigger and better things. Call me if you need me. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. Look, before I go, last time I'm going to tell you this year, don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that taking care of your loved ones is a bad thing. We try and get our blessings.
You know what I mean? Some people don't even care about themselves. You know what I mean? Let alone other people. We not like them. <laughs> we not like them. You know what I mean? My mom and dad fell on hard times. No way in the world I could have turned my back on that. You know what I mean? They watched me come out the sandbox. You know what I mean? Pop was with me when I came out the womb. How would I look like turning my back on a joker now? You know what I'm saying? Get your game right, man. I'm going to get your money right. You feel me? It is what it is, baby boy. I love you, man. Share this post for me, man. All right? Look, if you're here with me now, man, you, you the real deal, man. Don't let nobody tell you anything different, man. 2022 is your year. I love you, dog. Take it easy.